In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want to show us three set of people that must be in your life for you to move to the next level and for you to be able to have reason to testify in this month of June. From the beginning of this program on the first, I took us and I told us then that see, Olonu Oki Sokale in your lo man lo lati fa in your goke. But I will show you three of them. I will pray concerning them this morning. And I pray in the name of Jesus, they shall meet us. We shall see them in Jesus' name. See them for one minute, then we'll stand up to pray. The first set of people that must come into your life, they are many, but metakwele ni mumafi on walini. Maybe any other time we can pray about the rest. But the first set of people I want to show us is what I call divine connectors. They can't help you. They don't have your help in their hands because they themselves need help. But knowing them is enough to connect you to those that will lift you up. And when we are talking about divine connectors, they are like the cup in the book of Genesis chapter 4 verse 9. The Bible says that we are just friends. Prisoner to prisoner and shiri. Is it possible for such a person to leave Joseph? No. A young man for you come and I see you one. Because you have one bed on it. We, we. Or, or, or. But the Lord called them divine connectors. When you connect wire and wire together, what will, what will happen? It will spark. And this type of person in your life are those that will show you the way. Genesis chapter 4 verse 9 says, And the, the, the chief butler said, I remember my wrong today. He said, I, I remember I have a friend. I met him in the prison. And he promised. He said this and this to me. The Lord revealed to him. Yes, sir. We are having problem in the in the in the in the, in the uh, what do you call it in this place? Let's call for his help. He may interpret your dream, and that was the end. The Bible said they took Joseph from the prison, shave him, and that was the end of him being in the prison. For our life to change and for us to have reason to testify, to laugh, this month of June we need them in our life. But one thing I will beg us this month is that don't look down on anybody. Not that you have called them, they will come around you. So when they come, ask for the wisdom of God on how to undo them. They are meeting together in, in the in the priest. The first thing the man asked was. I have a dream. Who can interpret? Joseph never knew that he would be the one who would lift him out of the prison. Number two, men of influence. 
I saw that in the life of David and Jonathan. They, they are the type of people who are willing to share. I have this. Can you have half? I have 50,000. Can I give you this? I have 1 million. Can I give you this to go and do your what you want to do with it? If you don't have them in your life, the life will be so difficult. Let's share it together. You will give me money when you are okay. If you don't have them in your life, the life will be difficult. And the third set of people I called the burden bearers. They are like Aaron and Hall. The Bible says, and when Israel and were fighting, the Lord said to Moses, lift up your rod. As your hand is up, the people of Israel will be winning. But what Moses was in Lolly. I want to, 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 but I want to, I want to, I want to, he will continue to do what? They will be co continue to, to beat down, to cut down their enemies. The Bible says the hand started getting weak. He ran and ho. Ran around Moses. They lifted the two hands up. They lifted the hole. The hand was so up. They went to go and look for a big stone. They put stone had it down at the other side. But daddy, or when you told it over you bad lolly, they will conquer us. Body bearers. People that will look at you and say, Hey, that be this set of people you is needed in your life. I won't 